a PS drum master. And Lulu. All right, this Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC. I think it's pretty substantial. It's big enough. They got Idris Alba to come in and do a, a trailer. Wow. Actually, I got it wrong. Why? Because I thought all these upgrades they were talking about for 2.0 for Cyberpunk mm -hmm. was just limited to this new DLC that you got to pay for. But no, a lot of them, they are actually going to roll out for free if you own the original game. Whoa. Yeah. That made you excited. You know what? It did. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what? Being a gamer is tough, y'all. It's an emotional roller coaster. I bought the game early, pre-ordered it, so disappointed. Waited for one update after another to fix it. After two years, I just gave up. I played a couple hours, moved on, because there's so many better games out there. But I have to hand it to the developers. They stuck with it, and finally... Years later, it looks like the game is, some people joke, looks like it's now a playable game as intended. So uh, I think after I'm done with Starfield, which will be in uh, 2025, uh, I'm ready to jump back into Cyberpunk, which will be probably be the year 2077. Oh my God. <laughs> and I heard that this might be the last update, but if they're giving all this stuff away for free, then I I'm sticking with it. But... Now, is the DLC worth it? Oh, and we'll check out the behind-the-scenes trailer, too. Ooh, I like that. All right. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked, wild stories, you got to check out my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my only fans. Ooh, sometimes it's worth it. This is it. Just Don't me. jump. You know I do. Woo! Ouch. That's yeah, cool. that's so cool. God, how is this not a movie? Yet? I'm right where you wanted me. Now tell me I'm out of this goddamn town. Holy that's shit, that looks cool. Just like oh my god. Baby. He's even got the little Adios, nice city. tweaks and quirks he's got of his expressions. Wow. Yeah. That is so you. close. Get your ticket out yet? I hear the government's sealing a deal. You're the president's favorite. Are you gonna walk out of this on a red carpet? Yeah, sure. Hey, you deserve it. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you. You know what I'm thinking about right now? Tell me. Taco stand back home. First thing I'm gonna do when I get off this train is mm. head right there. That's what I'm doing so too. Those cases, after this reaction. Dreams. These sure sounds tasty. Uh, yeah. You were the one that took me there in the first place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I remember now. Well, Something. listen, when this is all over, you gotta take a break, you hear me? Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Tell me, do you go to He lived. So me, you want a pill? That's a real one? So me. Excuse me, Madam President. Pill? It's going to be a long flight. No, thank you. Oh. If it wasn't for you. Oh, 
snapped. That was intense. If this was a real movie trailer, Whoa. I would have been like, I believe it. Man, that was intense. Hi, I'm Idris Elba, and I play secret agent Solomon Reed in Phantom Liberty, the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. is a professional, someone that's lived many lives. He's basically a sort of secret agent that has worked in Night City for a long time and has been a special ops operator and, you know, basically has kept his head down until now. And when he comes back, he comes back in a major way. I mean, he's a pivotal character. You learn a lot about the story through Reed. And actually meeting Reed is like, you know, it can either go one way or the other. You know, the treason ain't ever black and white. It's a charade, V. Um, obviously, you know, with a spy character like Solomon Reed, you don't know much about him. You know what maybe he's capable of, but can you trust him or not? A spy story will make you think one thing, and actually you should be paying attention to something else. Oh, don't Every now give and away again, too much. In the storyline, you actually get some nuggets of who Solomon Reed is, and he's reluctant. You know, he doesn't really like to just open up and say it, but. His personal side is definitely one that's filled with torment, um, betrayal, trauma, but at the center of his personal life is his work. Like, he really loves his job. He's a very, very dedicated agent, and you get to know that as you play with this character. Get your ammo, assault rifles, tactical gear. Dogtown is, I guess, the most deadly place in Night City. It's a district ruled by a militia, it's also sort of like a labyrinth of crumbling infrastructure. And by the way, the scale of Dogtown is incredible. You know, as a storyteller, it's just an amazing canvas. Because it's open world, I mean, you can pretty much go anywhere in it. And it's just like, like incredible. And the writing in this expansion is really, really good, especially around Solomon Reed. You know, because it's a big storyline and it's really well dialogued. So he's a really big character. It's really complex to play, actually. This is the first major game I've done as a voice major, and it was an easy yes for me because I'm a big fan of because uh, CD of Project from The Witcher games and Cyberpunk. What I really liked about it is the fact that it's so big and a real character study. And it was a challenge That'd be for me. Cool to see like, but in terms of the voice. I have to have the spectrum of emotions in the way I speak, in the way he answers. The whole experience was definitely like a learning curve. And I can say I've done it, and I've done it, you know, in a really phenomenal game. Dogtown, burn it to the ground is what we'll do. It's a simple choice. Them or us. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay. The character and the storyline concept has got me intrigued. Yeah. How would he, I'm telling you, man, how is, how is this game of oh all my games gosh. not a movie? And don't give it to Netflix, right? Like The Witcher <laughs> did it and they effed it all up. Make it a full blown freaking movie. He's such a good actor. That's just it, know. man. You know what I'm saying? He had such gravitas to everything but they've been getting celebrity that are so good at yeah this, they, yeah you know it wasn't just a like feeling, a filler they I find some good they're gonna film. make a movie out of this with them <laughs> with them they should at please, this point they really please. should i mean it would be such an obvious next step right and the storyline's already written itself, right? They just gotta focus on one concept, but so much of it's fleshed out. They literally just have to model this. They could probably take the exact same game engine, spruce it up just a bit, and it will look already freaking fabulous. I know. So it looks like you know how you do the selfie um filter? And that's pretty much how close it is. Like when you know their faces on this. Wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's your comparison i see that's my comparison. your that's selfie filter looks are. real they're so good at it already <laughs> that that did look pretty amazing wow all right all right i'm i'm jumping back in y'all i'm doing it <sighs> you have to baby i feel like i'm not even a gamer for this or i'm not a gamer in general you, don't want, to, you want me to see <laughs> but you play i want this? to see you play yeah. this game 
Yeah. 